Welcome to the Clear Facts Summer Edition. Now today we answer the question, does size matter? I'm Stefan Reinhardt, Director of Education for the Clear Institute and... My name is Michaela Seenert, I'm a general dentist in Germany. In Germany? Well, guess where I am? In Germany! <laughs> no, but we don't need this thing between us now. Not, not for now. Not. <laughs> like these videos subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet what are what are they waiting for i don't know and don't forget to click on the little bell that you're going to be notified every time we upload a new video and don't forget to give us the thumbs up michaela stefan does size matter yes it does of course it does when we're talking about clear aligners, uh, size really matters. In fact, in, it's probably for me one of the first uh, principle that we have to understand when we want to treat patients using clear aligners. That's absolutely true. The size of, I mean, um, the tooth itself, and we do have some options that we can even make that size bigger, for example, with attachments. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So size matters when we talk about the shape of the, the tooth or the teeth uh, itself, the teeth or the tooth itself, the teeth, the tooth, the teeth, you know what I mean. And it matters when we talk about attachments and it matters even more when we talk about combining the two of them together. Now it gets confusing. You know, it doesn't take me a lot to be confused. Wow. Especially now that we're together. <laughs> so size matters. How does it matter when we, if we talk only about attachments? Yes. How can we change size? How can we, I mean, how can we control that? Well, first of all, um, you have the option, like when you choose your own attachment and conventional attachment, mm -hmm. right? You can, you know, click on it. I mean, that is really, a lot of people really don't know that, a lot of doctors. And you can choose, do I want to have a three millimeters, four or five millimeters? Exactly like you're seeing here. And uh, the thing is, you know, sometimes, of course, uh, we tell ourselves, well, it's going to be big and maybe you see it more, but that's, you know, this is not what we're talking about. It's about, no. It's not an issue. It's not an issue. Absolutely. In fact, I have to say, when I put long attachments, sometimes I, I even like it more. I see them less. You know what I mean? I agree 100% with you. So this is one thing, the length of the attachment, but yeah. there is something else we can There's something else. We're talking about the surface. We're talking about the size. So the length is important, but the thickness also is important. So you can play also with the thickness. So you can play with the size, play with the thickness. And if you want to add even more surface, you can play with the angulation. You can bevel your attachments exactly like you're seeing now. So by doing all this, you increase the surface where the aligner will be able to apply a force. And this is what moves teeth. What moves teeth? Three things. Remember, three things. I know we talked about that in other, but it's something you have to know by heart. Three things. What are the three things? Force, space. Oh my God! <laughs> she doesn't know! Time. Ah, uh, bravo! <laughs> So how can you have force? Well, you have to, if you increase space, you can add more force. It's not like brackets. You know, when you're working with braces, the only place you can put the force is the little bracket that is bounded on the tooth. It doesn't matter if you have a big tooth, a small tooth, it's a lower incisor, an upper central. The, the, the space where you put the force is always the same. That's with right. brackets. With brackets, but not for clear ends. Not for clear And This is why attachments are important, but you have to look at the teeth also. Because if you have worn out teeth, very small teeth, it's going to be hard. Why? Is, what's the probably the most um, difficult tooth to do movement? I'm not sure this is good English, but you know yeah, what but I mean. It is, yes. Uh, it is good English. I'm not sure. The most difficult Who tooth? are you to tell is good English? <laughs> 
Well, I understand. Yeah, so that's very good. Okay, very good. <laughs> we understand each other. That's true. Yeah. So for me, it's always the labyrinth. That's it. The, the upper, upper labyrinth. labyrinth. Right? Always. But this Why? is not only because of the surface, also because of the relation to the root itself. But like yeah. you said, um, the upper labyrinths, they're usually they're really small and very even, you know, not, not really wide. So, and this is a lot of times it's not really precise or a lot of doctors say, well, if something didn't really work out, it's a lot of times those teeth, right? And sometimes they have no attachment or too small attachments. Yeah. So, and we see things sometimes happening with the upper levels, like the, what, what I call the watermelon seed effect. You know, they're like, it's like they're boop, going inside. How? Like, boop. Going inside. Yeah, this year. Boop. Going inside. Yeah. yeah. What you see on the clean check doesn't mean this is what's going to happen in life. This is what is a clean check? Clean check is a representation of a force system. How the force will be applied on your teeth. So even if you see the laterals moving on a clean check and making all time of crazy things and movements, and it doesn't mean it's gonna happen. If you put attachments on me, maybe let like, check. Yeah, I could move you better. I yeah, could, yeah, hold me by the yeah. attachment. Move me. <laughs> hmm. 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 Now she can do whatever she wants with me because she's holding the attachments. Big attachments. Ah! Oh my God. So Michela, in conclusion, size matters. Size does matter, and the fun thing is that you have control over the size and the thickness of the attachments. That's it. You don't control the size of the teeth, but you can change the shape and the size of the teeth by adding attachments, adding thickness, adding length, and adding a bevel. Use it, use it wisely, and you will see it will make your life easier for clear alignments. I'm Stefan Reinhardt, Director of Education for the Clear Institute. And my name is Michaela Zenard, and I'm a general dentist in Germany. Have fun! controlling the size. If you stayed up to this point, it's because you like these videos. Now, if you like these videos, subscribe on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? And don't forget to click on the little bell <laughs> that you're going to be notified every time we upload a new video. And you know what? Give us a thumbs up. It makes us